Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So this is dual wheeled gun tutorial. So first you need to access your catalogue and you do that by pressing left on your d-pad. You want to scroll down to weapon accessories and then you want to go right and keep going right until you get to this next bit where it shows horsemanship holster so you need to go and select that one. It's only available from level 21 though but I'm above level 21 so I can buy it. So buy it, choose what colour you want, and then buy it. It then pops up on the screen to say you've bought it. So then you need to head to the tailor or your camp to equip the holster because you can't actually use it until you've equipped it. So I've gone to Saint Denis Tailor here, just showing you where it is. I'll just sped this bit up. You don't go and talk to the tailor, you go to the back to your wardrobe and just press press whichever button it prompts you to press. So now we're in our wardrobe. You want to scroll all the way down to weapon equipment. Gun belt. I'm wearing the gun belt already so that's not the one you need to equip, it's already equipped. You need to equip the offhand which then shows horsemanship holster so you need to equip that I've already done that because it shows it there so you can then save your outfit and that will be available on your horse so just back back out of there and then leave the tailor I've just sped this bit up again so next we're going to show that you can't change your weapons until you're near your horse so you can see here we can't change it from Schofield revolver and cattleman revolver but if we walk towards our horse and look at the same options again we can now screw, scroll through all the weapons that we have available to choose whichever order we want them in left or right you can have a shotgun and a six shooter or a, a mauser and a semi-auto pistol it's completely up to you which which way around you want it obviously you need the weapons in the first place and I've just equipped the dual wield there so you I can now show you that I'm running both weapons at once to show you it's working. So let's go ahead and show you the fire rates. So first we're going to do the Schofield revolver in my right hand. And this is from the hip fire rate. And this is aimed firing, quite a bit slower. This is as fast as I can fire. Now we're going to go on to the Cattleman Revolver in the left hand. So from the hip now. Quite a lot faster with a Cattleman Revolver. Not as accurate and now it's aimed shooting. So quite a lot slower there. And now we're going to go dual wield which is you need to get the red mark above the two arrows there so we're going to do from the hip quite a bit slower with both of them together now we have to reload and we're going to do aimed shooting which is a bit slower even more again Just reloading there. So now we're going to show you the the Mauser pistol in our right hand and that holds 10 rounds. So this is from the hip, an average fire rate there. And this is aimed now quite a bit slower. Now we're going to go ahead and change to the semi-auto pistol, which holds 8 in our left hand. We're going to fire from the hip now. Quite a lot faster fire rate there. Now we're going to aim fire. Quite a bit slower there. So now we're going to do dual wheel, both of them together, from the hip, which is a 
incredible fire rate. So that's 18 rounds. It's very fast. But that is fired from the hip. We're now aiming. And that's still quite quite a fast fire rate. So I'm going to show you the amount of damage that from the hip semi-auto pistol and Mauser does. I've slowed that down for you. But that was from the hit, that kill. And now we're going to move to killing trolls in the lobby with dual-wield sawn-off shotguns. So that's it guys, so thanks for watching and uh, check back soon.